Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the filter characteristics of delay lane transfer. So, in the previous video, I have explained you about uh, what is the meaning of delay lane canceller and uh, its purpose also. So, what is its purpose? One is to display on to display on PPI display. So, what is PPI display? Plan position indicator display. So, in PPA display, we can display only DC component, we cannot display AC component. So, that's why uh, only moving target echoes are going to be taken and the stationary target echoes, so all the stationary targets echoes are being eliminated. So, in order to keep the stationary target information and eliminate the, sorry, in order to keep the moving target information and eliminate the stationary targets, we are using this delay line canceller. Or you can also say a bipolar video pattern has to be converted into video, uh, unipolar video pattern in, uh, to display on PPI display. So, that is the uh, important work of this delay line canceller. So, to convert bipolar video pattern into unipolar video pattern okay so to convert a bipolar video pattern into unipolar video pattern this delay line canceller is used how we are cancelling just we are taking a subtractor circuit one is directly applied here the output of this one directly applied to the output of receiver is directly applied to the subtractor another one is the delayed version of this one Delayed version. How much is the delay? Delay of the pulse repetition period. Okay. So, output. What is the purpose? Uh, subtractor will do. Subtractor will subtract these two incoming signals and produces the output. That output is nothing but completely the moving targets. Only moving targets. The output of this one. Uh, these moving targets is having some again fluctuations uh, due to positive and negative polarities. So, that polarity has to be converted into unipolarity by using this rectifier, full wave rectifier. Okay. So, you can also say the bipolar video pattern into unipolar conversion like a AC component to DC component. AC component to DC component conversion or bipolar video pattern into unipolar video pattern. Okay. So, now let us consider the output of this one, something like V1 v1 is the signal that is coming from the receiver output here the receiver is nothing but mti radar or pulse doppler radar outputs mti radar or pulse doppler radar output here we are not completely studying about to delay line canceller we are not worrying about what is the amount of input signal frequency and transmitted signal frequency okay output of delay output of receiver we are studying here so if you see if you, if you observe this one see here up to this part, this is the receiver. This is the receiver. Okay, the output of receiver we are considering. The output of receiver we are taking that is output is given to delay line canceller. Delay line canceller. So after the receiver, only there will be Doppler component, no transmitted signal frequency information is preserved here. Okay, so let us consider the output of this one as V1, which is directly applied to the subtract input. Another delayed version of the same signal is taken as V2. Now the subtractor will subtract these two and produces V1 minus V2 output as V0. So this output is going to be converted into rectified output. Okay, now let us see the calculation part how this uh, going to be done. Let V1 and V2 are the inputs of are the inputs of subtractor circuit subtractor circuit okay so V1 and V2 V1 is what is V1 V1 is the direct input without any delay and V2 is the delayed input delayed input how much T okay so assume the received signal is having a phase and uh, amplitude like k v1 is equal to k sin 
2 pi fd only doppler component is there no transmitted signal frequency because we are studying the delay line canceller at the output of receiver okay minus t t minus some arbitrary constant phi naught 2 pi fd t minus phi naught and delayed signal delayed signal b v2 is equal to k sin 2 pi fd so t minus t so time factor is going to be delayed t minus t minus some arbitrary constant phi naught we no need to worry about arbitrary constants arbitrary constant you can consider or you can simply discard no problem okay now the output of output of subtractor is v0 is equal to v1 minus v2 so that implies v0 is equal to what is v1 you can take k in common from both the v1 and v2 so sin 2 pi f d t minus phi naught minus sin 2 pi f d t minus capital T minus phi naught ok so this is what the signal that is applied to v uh, subtractor input v1 and v2 so output will be v1 minus v2 so assume this as i am taking red pen assume this as a and this as b so what is the formula of this one here formula sin a minus sin b this is the notation we have here now sin a minus sin b is equal to we can write it as sin a minus b by 2 cos a plus b by 2 this is the formula now substitute substitute in the same formula now we will see what we will get ok so v naught is equal to now k into sin of a minus b by 2 what is a <coughs> what is a uh, 2 pi f dt 2 pi f dt minus some pi naught b what is b 2 pi f d t minus t minus 5 so this one is minus so minus 2 pi f d t minus of minus plus 2 pi f d capital t minus of minus plus phi naught divided by 2 into cos same in terms of cos what we have a plus b by 2 so 2 pi f d t minus phi naught plus 2 pi f d t minus t minus phi naught divided by 2 ok this is what we have now just simplify here see 2 pi f d t 2 pi f d t cancel phi naught phi naught cancel and 2 pi f d t by 2 so 2 to cancel what we have k into sin phi f d capital T cos come to this one 2 pi f d t minus phi naught 2 pi f d t here so 4 pi f d t <laughs> minus uh, 2 pi f d capital T 2 pi f d 
capital D, you can take some arbitrary constant as minus phi naught. No need to uh, add arbitrary constant, so minus 2 phi, minus 3 phi, whatever it is, some arbitrary constant, that's it. Okay. And divided by 2. Okay. Is equal to, or else you can consider 2, uh, otherwise it will be cancelled later, no problem. Uh, K sin phi f d t into cos uh, what about here if you divide with 2 it will be like 2 pi f d t minus pi f d t minus phi naught <coughs> this is the phase information and uh, k sin pi f d t cos of you can take 2 pi f d common then here we have t minus here t by 2. 2 is not there, so by 2. Minus some arbitrary constant phi naught. This is the output of subtractor circuit. Okay. Now, what is the signal? How to draw the signal for this type of output voltage? How to draw the waveform? See which is constant and which is... Uh, amplitude here which is i mean which is amplitude and which is phase information here here sin 2 pi f d t where is the time involvement here time this is time period this is time period capital t that is constant for your operation and which is varying with respect to time t this part <coughs> okay so in this entire equation we can say this entire part is acting as amplitude okay and this entire part cos of this one is acting as phase okay so this is the phase information and this is the amplitude information when the amplitude becomes zero when t is equal to fd or when t is uh, for every t is equal to fd or 2fd or 3fd then the sign signal will be 0 sign pi 0 sign 2 pi 0 sign 3 pi 0 so for every time when t is equal to this so therefore v naught i am i am taking blue pen uh, so v naught becomes 0 output of the subtractor output becomes zero when the doppler frequency doppler frequency fd is equal to is equal to integral multiples of time period Okay, that means Fd is equal to for nt, Fd is equal to nt, V0 is equal to 0 for all Fd is equal to n into t. Okay, hope you understand. Okay, so Fd is equal to 1t, then what happens? Sorry, Fd is equal to, uh, here it is, Fd is equal to n by t. Fd is equal to n by t because frequency, this is frequency and this is time. So, Fd is equal to n by t, then pi f. Fd is equal to 2 by t, then pi f. 3 by t, then 3 by f. So, like this, we have uh, sin pi is equal to 0, sin 2 pi, sin 3 pi, like that. For every value, you will be having 0. But between these values, you will be having some amplitude. So, if you draw the characteristics of this one, it will be like this. Okay. So, this is the amplitude the maximum amplitude is 2 and for every 1 by t 2 by t 3 by t 4 by t 5 by t and so on we can write it as n by t so for every time when frequency is equal to 1 by n by t the output becomes 0 the output becomes 0 okay this is what the filter characteristics of delay and canceller so we have taken the basic block diagram of uh, uh, delay line canceller we have assumed v1 and v2 as the inputs of a subtractor 
and uh, we have taken the output to a voltage equation after simplification we have found that uh, the Doppler frequency component is equal to n by t then the output of the delay line cancel the output of the delay line cancel becomes zero okay so this is the filter characteristics of delay line canceler thank you